What's happening, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Shopper. I hope you had a great weekend. Time to start a new week and time to win some bets using the data and tools we have over at Odd Shopper. So as you guys come in here, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Any questions or comments you have for me, let me know below or even easier, join our Chalkboard channel. It is free to download and then also our channel is totally free to get into. There's a link for that below. It's been myself and Lofty in there posting a bunch of additional bets in addition to the stuff we do on YouTube and also just hanging out, sweating all the bets we have, talking about the different slates. And we've been pretty active in there. We built it up to nearly 300 people in the first few days that we started up. So come get in on the ground floor because that is something that's going to be hopping pretty soon. And it's been fun. I've really enjoyed being in there and hanging out with everybody. And it's totally free. No better price than free. And as for our chopper, which we are about to get into, I was focusing a lot on the college basketball for the first couple of days of the tournament, but uh, not going to be the case today because there is no college basketball. So going to be focusing a lot on NBA today, and then I'll look at some of the NHL bets as well. Let's get some of the data on the screen. So here's Odd Chopper, and if you guys aren't familiar with it, we are using the books against themselves. We have an algorithm that's weighted for the different books and how successful they've been in different markets based on the research that we have done. We use that to create an algorithm, and that is going to give us projected win rates and projected ROIs for pretty much everything across all different sports. We recently added MMA and there's going to be more stuff added in the coming in the uh, coming days. We're going to have pretty much everything, all markets in here. And if you guys want to check this out one week, totally free, click on the link below first week, totally free. And what I think is going to happen is you guys are going to make money in your first week and the tool is just going to pay for itself going forward. And let's look at some of the bets that are being highlighted right now with also, uh, in another edition, I posted some bets in our Chalkboard channel really early in the morning that are no longer on the board, but still some good value at the time that I'm recording. Let's get into it. Starting with Terry Rogier, we've got him over two and a half threes, projecting as our number one bet of the morning so far. And Rogier, I really do like this number, especially consider that we're getting plus money on it. We have been winning more than 50% of the time. And like I said, a lot of this is we're using the books against themselves. We're looking at odds that are posted at different books. And as you can see, there's a lot of books here that are posting minus 210 lines. DraftKings is minus 210. BetMGM is minus 210. Caesars is minus 209. So that's ultimately when all these different lines are weighted together. We have this winning 52% of the time as a plus money bet on Terry Rogier. I think there's a good chance a lot of you either don't have access to Bet Rivers in the state that you're living in. And you'll see that uh, the FanDuel line still has value. I'm sure that FanDuel a lot more accessible to a lot of you. That is currently listed at plus 104. So not all that much different plus 105. Still a plus EV bet. So Terry Rogier, I think this one makes sense for over two and a half threes. He's still benefiting from extra usage due to the injury to Terry Rogier. Now, Joel Embiid, he's been terrific lately. I know a lot of us probably won't feel great betting some of the unders on any of his props. But keep in mind this, when we're looking at Joel Embiid, under 10.5 rebounds plus 210 at DraftKings, compare that to some of the other lines that are out here. Nobody has a line that's close to my, to uh, plus 110. Well, Bet Rivers Unibet kind of close, but other books, even money over at FanDuel, points bet has it minus 105, even money at BetMGM, under 10.5 minus 111 over at Caesars. And once again, if you look at what our projection comes out to, this bet is a total coin flip, 50-50. But... The reason it has value is because it is that plus 110 number. So we're basically just getting plus odds on a coin flip. And if you're going to bet plus 110 on heads 10 times, more often than not, in the long run, you're going to end up making money on that. So Joel Embiid, under 10.5 rebounds, looks good as long as we're getting it at that plus money mark. And then Kelly Oubre, I know that 1.5 assist is a really low mark, and there actually aren't a ton of books that have lines posted for this yet. But one of the reasons we have this as a plus EV bet is Believe it or not, Kelly Oubre has not really been much of an assist guy, even though he's playing big minutes moving into the starting lineup. He has not had a game with multiple assists now since March 9th. So Kelly Oubre has not been really filling up the assist department category. We have him overall as a starter this year. He's made 38 starts, barely averaging over one assist per game. So actually some value here on Kelly Oubre under one and a half assists. These are the top three NBA bets we have of the day. And also... You guys could just tell us. You don't really have to know anything. You don't have to have any background information on these sports. If you just check some of these out, and we've been tracking all the data, over 20,000 bets track now with a positive ROI. If you just tail these bets blindly, you guys, it's that simple. You're going to make money over the long haul. And now let's look at NHL, a sport that I know very little about. I do know a good amount about NBA. Don't know a lot about college basketball. Don't know a lot about NHL, but I've been profitable betting on them 
using our tool here. So we do have a future. Every once in a while, we'll see some futures that pop up here. And uh, the Kings to win the Pacific Division, that is one that pops up as a slightly positive EV bet. But I'm going to focus on some of the prop bets that we have for here, starting with uh, Thomas Hurdle here. Under two and a half shots on goal, minus 118 at FanDuel. Look at some of the lines that are posted elsewhere. And this is where this tool really highlights some of the value you could find in a market like hockey, even if you don't know anything about it. Because Hurdle on DraftKings, minus 140 for under two and a half. Bet Rivers, minus 157. Unibet, minus 157. So that's why we're really seeing value on this FanDuel line. It's so much different than what other books are posting within the industry. And as for some of the other lines, so Nathan McKinnon actually posted a McKinnon bet in our in our chalkboard channel earlier in the day. I was able to get the same number. McKinnon over four and a half shots at minus 135. It's currently at minus 140, which has a little bit of value, but not as much value as the minus 135 number I posted earlier. So if you guys want to get in chalkboard, you will get a little bit earlier access to some of these plays. And like I said, it's totally free to go check out, just like Odd Shopper is seven day free trial when you sign up using the link that we have below. And now let's just really quick go look and let's let's go and check out a prize picks parlay. See if anything pops up as being plus EV today. And the answer is yes. If you guys look at what we have for prize picks projection here as a flex play, we have this with a 15% expected ROI. It is a six leg flex parlay over on prize picks. The odds that we have here, or I should say the props we have. Bennett over two and a half shots on goal. That is in the Florida Panthers Detroit Red Wings game. Jalen Brunson over 24 and a half points. Logan Couture under two and a half shots on goal. Uh, I Varhigi, I'm going to guess that's how I pronounce his name. If not, he's not watching this anyway, so his family won't be too offended. Hurdle, we talked about him before, under two and a half shots on goal. And then another one on Vooch here, Nikola Vucevic under 10 and a half rebounds. So if you guys play on prize picks, We've got tools for these over on Odd Shopper as well. We've got parlay builders for prize picks, no house advantage, and then also for sports books. Let's see if we have one that rates out as plus EV at any books. And sometimes, by the way, the answer is going to be no, and that's totally okay. Sometimes the best bets you could place are the ones that you don't place because you don't want to just place bets for the sake of it. But this is one here, a parlay, 21 to 1 odds, 17% expected ROI. So good, good win rate here. I mean, relative to a six-leg parlay, 5% win rate, but at these kind of odds, that is going to be plus EV. And here we have Vooch over one and a half threes, Steph Curry over 28 and a half points, uh, Varagi again for under three and a half shots on goal, Hurdle once again popping up for under two and a half shots on goal, and then the Kelly Oubre assist line. This is over at BetMGM. Just see what we have over at FanDuel. Is that going to be a better or worse, or a much better expected ROI? So if you guys go and check out FanDuel right now, quick parlay here. And some of the similar ones we saw before, Terry Rogier, Varhigi again, Hurdle. Here's a Joel Embiid under points, rebounds, and assists. And then under four, Clay Thompson points, rebounds, and assists. So this FanDuel parlay comes out with a 26% expected ROI. So this is a rundown of some of the stuff we have available on the tool today, guys. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter or ask me in Chalkboard. Like I said, totally free to use, totally free to get into our app. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't done yet, like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Good luck. I'll see you guys back here. Not tomorrow. I'm actually going to be off tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment, but Wednesday I'll be back. I'm also going to be covering some prize picks for Josh the rest of the week. So be on the lookout for that. Have a good one, everybody.